Good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Today is a brand new day. It's a brand new day. The Lord has given us another day, y'all. Let me come out here so I can feel the weather. Child, this weather is something else, y'all. It's something else. I turned my heater on yesterday. Actually, I had it on the day before. Because the weather changed on us again. It flip-flopped on us again, y'all. Let me close my door right quick. But y'all know what? We probably in the 50s or the 40s today. I knew it because my house was cool. I knew it. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know what the good Lord is doing, but I thank him anyway. I thank him anyway, because there's so much crime here. And normally when it's cold out here, it sits some people down. But when it's hot, girl, people, they get to doing all type of stuff. Y'all hear me? Even though weather is cold, hot, snowing, raining, if somebody want to do something, they'll do it. But baby, let me just say this. It's cool out here today. It is. Y'all see I got on my little my little hooded sweater today. Baby, last week we was in the 60s and the 70s last week. Today, I haven't looked at the temperature yet, but I'm pretty sure it's in the, like I said, the 40s or the 50s, y'all, because it's cool out here today, baby. It's cool out here today. <sighs> That's why I was just like, let me let me just throw on my sweater because when I go outside, I know it's cool out here today. I know it's cool. But anyways, what y'all got up for y'all agenda on today? Y'all y'all got something going today, babies. What y'all doing? Y'all already know what I'm doing, right? So if y'all don't know, check out my other video on my other channel. And I mentioned that I was going to take y'all to the fresh market. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go out there and let me, ooh, let me turn this off. I'll be copyrighted. I don't even wanna show it because y'all know what? If I show some stuff on my TV, even though the music ain't playing, they still a copyright the, the picture in the background like they did the last time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off. Cause you know, I was just listening to my little worship music, my little praise and worship music channel. That's what I do. That's what I do every single day, y'all. I listen to my praise and my worship music. See, the enemy don't like to hear that. The witches and the warlocks, they don't like to hear that. They, they, can't, they can steal everything else, but they cannot steal my worship. They can't steal my worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, y'all, I was just getting myself ready. Like I said, I threw on my little cute little white hooded sweater. I got on some jeans. Y'all may get a good, you know, little glimpse of my outfit when I'm out. <sighs> I was trying to lay my wig down. I, I uh, brought out my headbands because I may just put a headband on with this wig. And y'all know what? I forgot I left my hot comb at my mama house. I had two. Actually, I had three. Well, I had two hot cones. I thought I had three of them. <laughs> I know my mama got one at her house. Then I bought one. And I think one of them conked out. That I had recently bought. It just stopped working all of a sudden. But, um. I do need my hot comb, girl. Because I had to, um, condition this hair. I had to condition it real good. But it's, you know, it's cute. It's cute or whatever. I gotta make this part natural. And what uh, I really need to do is get my hot comb and like comb this part right here. Cause I don't want it to like be boofy and stuff. Even though this is some natural curly like, I don't know if this Brazilian hair or Malaysian hair, girl. I don't know what this is. I just know you have to wash it and condition it as if it was your hair. Okay. But I do need the, um, Oh Lord, what am I looking for? I need my hot comb. You know what? I'm gonna have to go to my mama house and get the one that's over there. Or I'm gonna have to go to the beauty supply store. And I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to buy me one. Oh, that's what I'm gonna have to do. That's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. 
I just forgot what I was looking for. I was like, what am I looking for, child? Let me just make my parting kind of kind of natural looking right quick. So what y'all got going on today? I know I just asked y'all that. What y'all doing today, child? Y'all getting out today? Today is Saturday, by the way. Y'all getting out? What y'all doing? What are y'all doing? So I am just so thankful, y'all, that I am off work today. I am so thankful because the sister been working. Y'all hear me? I have been working, baby. So whenever I have time to just, you know, get out and have this little free day, I'll get out and hang out with y'all for a minute. But, y'all, like I said, girl, Candy Pooh be working. Y'all hear me? So I really don't be having time to do a lot of stuff, but I try to make time sometime to get on YouTube, watch a couple of y'all videos, and then try to make content for y'all because I be busy. And if I ain't, you know, talking to the Lord, praising the Lord, in my word, reading, I'm at work. I'm either doing either of the two. So I be like real, real busy, y'all. Real, real busy. So if y'all don't see me, if y'all don't catch me, that's, that's what's going on, child. That is what's going on. Maybe I can put some, uh, uh, I don't know. Let me get my headbands. I may get some mousse or something. I don't even know if I got any mousse in there. Do I got all these doggone headbands? And y'all know these headbands came with my, um, with my wigs like this. No. Mm -mm, they came with my headband wigs. And I done gave half of my headband wigs away. I got a couple of them, but I gave some of them away. Let me see what this headband go with this. I need to put some earrings on. Mm -mm. I need like a, I uh, wish I had an all white headband. I have to go buy me one somewhere. I believe I just got all black. I may have to. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Help me find something. Help me find something, Lord. Look on my bunny right here. I was looking for, um, girl, I was looking for this bunny. I ain't even ever worn a bunny before, child. It's my burgundy bunny I was looking for. I think I had like two of these. I don't know if I got rid of the other one, but I'm going to take that one out. I mean, I got that one. <laughs> Look, I got another one, child. Look at all these bunnies, girl. And then I be sitting up there trying to order more bunnets. When I got brand new ones up in here. What is this? This must be a headband or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little scarf or something like that. I do not have the right headband. I just knew all these headbands I had. I had the right particular one to go with this sweater. And you know, I don't I don't like to be doing too much. I I mean I'm like a pretty like basic girl i don't like too much going on i i, I just don't y'all i don't like to do too much i just like to keep it you know just simple I'm not doing too much i like to be very comfortable when i'm going to church and when i'm just running my errands i don't like to be doing too 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 much so uh hmm this yellow might go. Yeah, this yellow. Wait a minute, y'all. I actually was trying to find a pink, like, headband. But this yellow, it's like some yellow. Wait a minute, let me let y'all see. It's just like a little yellow in my in, in this sweater. I don't know if it's going to look right, though. I really, really don't know. <sighs> hmm, I have to see. Let me put it on. Let me put on me some studs. I don't want to. I don't think I want nothing dangling on today. Hmm. Let's see, y'all. This thing got buttons and everything on it. Girl, I did not know this. Who puts a button on a headband? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, girl. Mm, mm, mm. They got buttons on the headband. Really, y'all? I don't even think I ever worn this headband. <laughs> I think the only... Well, I'm going to take that back. The only time I probably did wear it is when I reviewed 
the wig that this this headband came with and I probably, you know, showed it like that, but just wearing it out somewhere, girl, I probably ain't never put this thing on. <laughs> oh, these buttons are irritating me. I wanna just pull them off. I wanna just pull them off, but this is this cool, this cool right here, this cool. I'll leave it like this. Yeah. Throw me some earrings right quick, y'all. I'm gonna be up out of here. I started to get up a little earlier to get out, but I didn't. I did not. I woke up this morning and I made me some breakfast. Some good old y'all pancakes. I had some sausage and um I had some eggs and some hash browns. So I had a pretty good breakfast this morning. Where is all my stuff? Let's see. Hmm. No, I don't know where that is. But yeah, girl, I had a I had a real, real good breakfast this morning. I was gonna put on some gold colors. Um, I just, hmm, so I got on my Apple Watch. I may do some silver today. Oh, I got on my silver bracelet, so I just thought about this, child. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some silver today. I'm gonna have to put on me some sort of silver studs or something like that. I may just need to put on some little diamonds. Y'all, this is just so sad. I got a little thing, this little thing right here that I got all of my loose studs. They just throw in here all over the place. And I got to find what I need. And I got so many of these little like diamond studded earrings that I have to pay attention to these sizes because they not made it up. I just need to throw on some. I actually like these right here. I probably ain't gonna be able to find this one, the other one to this one. Let me see. Hmm. I think these are pretty cute. Okay. Now watch me not be able to find the other one like this. I have to get real, real lucky looking in here, child. Hmm. I got lucky. I got lucky and found it. Okay. I could have put on some uh some pink studs. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. It'll be doing too much. Mm -mm. I just work with these little silver hearts. <laughs> I just work with these today. Y'all, I got to hear you up, girl. I got to hear you up. Because I really don't feel like getting out here in these streets. I really don't feel like getting out in these streets. But I know it's stuff that I got to take care of, y'all. I want me some, some good old fresh fruit. I need some other... Uh, there's some stuff I need to buy anyway. I know I'm gonna have to go. Um, oh, it just slipped my mind. Mm, I feel like I just dropped something, but I don't know what I dropped. I got a review I'm gonna throw in here, probably in the middle of the video, y'all. I'm gonna throw it in, in this video right quick. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna head out. I have to figure out what else. What else? I know I gotta pick up me some contact solution too for my contacts, cause I done ran out of solution. Just in case I wanna put them, put them in my eyes sometime. I gotta get me some. 
And I had a whole girl had a whole thing of contact solution. Mm. Whole bottle gone. Whole bottle gone. Let me try to wet this hair. I'm gonna sit y'all. I'm gonna sit y'all it. Hold on, y'all make it too high. Get my little bottle. You know what? I need me some some mousse. And I conditioned this hair, y'all. I had already washed it anyway. But I put some conditioner on it just to like soften it up just a little bit and to uh to keep the curls in it even though this is like a natural curly unit anyway so I don't think the curls gonna fall out I just don't want the hair to get all boofy and begin to start looking dry <laughs> That's what I don't want. All right, I'm finna get out of here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm finna get up out of here, y'all. Let me find me a bag that I will be carrying on today. Let me get this up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all, I was hunting for my. I know a lot of y'all was asking me about my Gucci bag that I told it on my other channel. Y'all just don't understand that I was searching for that bag, child. I was literally searching for that bag. Like I threw on my Gucci cap and I was just like, wait a minute now. I know I got a bag to go with this. And I was searching and I was searching, girl. I had to come in my closet because I still got bags in here. And I got bags in Jamaya's closet. I was just like, I didn't see it in there in one of them closets. So I came and started looking in this little gold thing. And I was just like, man, it ain't in here either. I must have overlooked. Then I went back and looked in Jamaya's closet. I didn't see it. Then I went back in this closet. I was just like, okay, so my bag is somewhere and I can't find it. So I came back over here and looked in the gold thing, girl, and I was looking at all my black boxes because I know my uh, my Gucci bags are in a black and white box. Girl, I looked and I said, let me just pick. I said, this got to be it right here. <laughs> so girl, I picked that bag, I mean that box up and I opened it, it was my Gucci bag. I was just like, whew, thank you, Father, I found it. Cause y'all know I have not toted that bag in like probably, <sighs> Probably four years. It's been that long. Y'all ain't never hardly saw me tote that bag, but I knew I had one. I was just like, wait a minute now. Let me let me just look again and see if I can find my bag. And I know many of y'all was asking me about that bag, but girl, that bag, oh, and it took me a minute to find it. That bag is super duper old. It just, it may look brand new because y'all know I switch up a lot of times on my bags and stuff. And, um, uh, I don't always tote the same bag every day, but I'm gonna have to find something to tote today. I'm gonna have to find something. But y'all know what I'm gonna. Um, I could tote my pink Chanel, but I think it's too pink. It's not the same as uh, like it's not really the same as my sweater. Hmm. I know I gotta, um, <sighs> help me, Jesus, help me, help me, Lord, help me, Lord, help me, Jesus, <laughs> help me, Jesus, help me find what I need, y'all. I'm gonna be back because see, holding the camera and be trying to look at the same time, I'm not gonna find nothing. I'll probably see y'all in the car or something, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see y'all. All right. All right, my friends. I am on this road. Y'all know what? I got to go stop at my granny's house right quick because I got to get something from her house right quick. And I forgot all about it. So I'm on my way to her house first. And then, um, then I'm going to shoot to the farmer's market. I'm trying to see if I want to go see my brother today because I haven't seen him in a while. My oldest brother. I may want to stop by his cribs <laughs> and see him. He might not even be at home, y'all. Y'all know my brother be gone a lot of times on Saturdays and stuff. He always 
like out here in these streets. I don't know, he might be at home though, him and Jackie. <laughs> but um, yeah, I know I gotta go to my granny's house, y'all. And I had just thought about it. I was just like, man, I gotta go out here. And then y'all know what? I believe I'm gonna be stuck in some traffic. Due to them closing up some roads down here because of the um, construction, I may have to get off. And I don't know where I'm gonna get off at. I pray to God that when I get down here, man, that I'll be able to get off. That's if, um, that's if um, they didn't close. Well, if they close the roads, I'll have to get off. And I hope it's somewhere down here that I can get off it before the roads have closed. Cause I know they mentioned it on the radio. They mentioned something like that, that they're gonna close off the expressway on the, on the weekend. And I forgot all about that. And this is the only way that I be like going to my granny's house, y'all. I have to get on this E-way. I mean, I can go the streetway, but I really don't feel like going the streetway. <laughs> I don't feel like going the streetway. So, man, I hope it just stay just like this. Just smooth and I can just ride on. But I'm pretty sure when I get around this corner, I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> Jesus, help us. Help this world, Lord Jesus. Help this world. Let me put my ring on. I was trying to, but actually, you know what? Let me get some lotion. Because that's the reason why. I took my rings off. I ain't even put no lotion on my hand after I washed my hand. And y'all, it is cool out here, babies. It's cool out here. We in the 50s. We are definitely in the 50s. I had went back in the house. I came out the house. Finna get ready to leave out. And then I realized how cool it was. I said, nah, let me just get my uh my green little bubble coat. So I just got that. I threw it back there. Just in case I be out here too long. I'm not planning on it, but if the temperature is like drop, drop. Excuse me, like it's 50 now, but if it go down and I'm still out here, I need to have something, child. So I went ahead on and grabbed it. So I won't be cold out here. But NT who? Auntie who? I'm gonna run up in this fresh market, y'all, and try to grab me some fresh fruit. I actually made me a little, a little list. I did it on my phone this time. I was just sitting there, and I said, instead of me, oh, Lord, it's gonna start raining. Uh, no, Jesus. No, I don't want to be out here in the rain, y'all. I don't even know if I got no umbrella with me. I believe I do, though. Throw it back there somewhere. <sighs> I don't want to be in no rain. It's not even raining out there where I am. But as soon as I get, like, out this way, it's, like, sprinkling. And I hope and pray to God that it don't start raining too hard. I don't know if it's... the you know what? I didn't see nothing about rain today. I did see that it was going to be kind of cloudy though, but not rain. Oh Lord, I don't want to be in no rain today, baby. Why the sun couldn't be out today? Why? Mm. Now this is so crazy. This is so dang on crazy. The sun is supposed to come out today, y'all. It says partly sunny and cloudy. But you know what? It's, the sun gonna start coming out at five o'clock. Five o'clock in the evening? Child, people gonna be trying to go in the house around right about that time. <laughs> then you got some people that's gonna be trying to get out here in these streets and, you know, head to parties and stuff like that or whatever they do. They look get together. But you know me, baby. I try to get out a little early and be in the house before it gets dark. That's me. But, um, yeah, the sun, I don't see no rain on here at all. I don't even know why it's sprinkling out here. I don't see no rain on your forecast, child. Now it didn't stop. Come on, Father. What you gonna do about this weather? What is you gonna do about this weather? <laughs> you know I don't wanna be in the rain. Now what I'm trying to do, like a little grocery shopping and stuff, just picking up just a little food. I may go to the beauty supply store, y'all, because I'm going to try to get me a um, another hot comb because I need one. Just so 
I can, you know, flatten some of my weeds, the ones that I need it for. Or I may just go to my mom's house and pick up my, my other high comb because she got it. Instead of me going out and buy a new one. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Let me look. Let me, uh, I know I don't need to be looking at this phone right now while I'm driving, but I'm on the expressway, y'all. It really ain't no. It's not real bagged up. And guess what? They ain't closed no roads yet. I don't know why I thought they was gonna close the road. They ain't closed no road. I surely thought they was about to close these roads up this weekend due to a lot of construction that will be going on, uh, going on, basically. I just don't understand why uh, they decided to do it on the weekends. Hmm. Probably because during the weekday, a lot of people, it'd be so much traffic on the expressway, child, on the weekdays. People be trying to get to work. And girl, and I tell you, these roads be so packed, it be bagged up. Y'all hear me? The expressway be bagged up every morning. Every single morning. It be bagged up. <laughs> it be packed up, y'all. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta go the streetway. You just got to because you ain't gonna make it on time if you go, go you know, like on the E-way. Not here in Memphis. Be too bagged up. But I can understand why they don't close it on the uh, weekday baby dog people probably ain't gonna make it to work they probably ain't gonna make it but i thank god though every lane is open freely so we can just go on do what we gotta do go on get to our destination y'all <laughs> go on get to our destination oh lord i'm just so grateful y'all i'm so grateful the lord has given me another day i'm just so so grateful i'm thankful that he has given me another day, which he has given all of us another day to just wake up and live. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I appreciate your unconditional love. I thank you. I so thank you, Daddy. I thank you for just being with me, being with my children, being with my family. I thank you. I so thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all know I got to just take out the time and just tell God, thank you. Just right there in the moment. Just tell him, thank you. Just right there in the present moment. God has been good, y'all. He has been so good to us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I'm just smiling. I'm just smiling. I'm just smiling. I'm just smiling. Because the Lord has great things in store for me yes he does he has great things in store for me hallelujah he has great things in store for me thank you jesus he has great things in store granny got the talking and girl got the praying and girl i got the crying girl i don't even know if y'all can tell that i was crying 
I think my lash got a little wet. <laughs> I'm finna, uh, ooh, Jesus. I got these bags up under my eyes, y'all. Normally when I get to crying like that, girl, look like I just woke up. But I know I ain't just woke up. I wish I can sit y'all on some, but I can't because Gran ain't got no, uh, she ain't got no little thing in her no more like she used to have. My mama her now. She done pulled up on us. <laughs> my mama's so silly. She said, girl, you should have been over my house. You and Granny should have came over there and helped me change my furniture around. Now, where my mama done put her couch, girl? Where she done put the couch at? Now, where my thing? Let me see if I can find y'all. I ain't even... I ain't even, uh... I don't even think I put it in here. Normally, I'll put it in, in my bag. It's my little black magnetic uh, liner for my lashes. I normally would just throw the one I got from the Dollar Tree in my bag. I don't even see it in here. What did I do with it, Lord Jesus? What did I do with it? <sighs> Hold on, y'all, while I ramble. All right. And I am toting my... Mark Jacobs tote today. I just go ahead on and pick that up, y'all. Let me see what my mama and granny and her doing. I'm finna get ready to head out in a minute, y'all. Huh? <laughs> mama, I like so much she get this wrong. She probably got, I, I had it in my bedroom on that side of the wall. That's right. That, that, was, was, her that, now. that was in her bedroom, mama. Yeah, it. what's over there now? I don't know. <laughs> Granny, oh, you took it out your room and put it in there. You brought it in here in the den. Oh. Now, how you get it in there by yourself? Lord, no, no more. <laughs> I have a dude. No, my egg on stuff in there. Right? Okay. So I put these up things. Granny, you changed your comforter. No, she ain't had that comfort when yeah, I came in here the last time. Oh, is it just old? She probably had a couple on top of it. Oh, it's just old. Okay. Mama yeah. always had some on top of it. Yeah. She had that on the bed. She just had like yeah. a quilt or something on top of it. I lay on the couch, I lay on it. Yeah. So, Mama, where them things? Well. Upstairs somewhere? <laughs> yeah. I thought they was in the kitchen. No, they were upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you Look, bring how you bring them downstairs, down down. man? You did that by yourself. Plastic. All you Damn, had, Mom. yeah, plastic. You did. Have you did some decluttering? Keep putting stuff on them steps. I'm finna get all this stuff on. This is too much stuff. What they do like this? Toothpaste. That's toothpaste. That's sugar oil. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, Granny got so much stuff, y'all. <laughs> y'all can head to this fresh market. I just got I don't know what I did with my keys. Y'all, girl, here I go. I said, what I did with my keys? I'm gonna get ready and leave that child. Let me talk to my mom right quick. They is so funny. <laughs> Granny knows she be moving some stuff around up in here. I know them dirty butter cookies. No. Yeah, they pretty good. Pink butter cookies. Yeah. See, I be on call my bottom of my keys when he probably take them. Put my glasses on right quick, y'all. I think he already took them or or he took them already? Well, I don't know. Well, I have to ask and see. Yeah, I talked to him. I have to ask him. See. No, I texted him, but he was in class. He was in class when I texted him. So, Chad, I'm finna get ready to get out of here, y'all. I just said that about 50 million times. I'm finna get ready to get up out of here, laughing and joking around my mom and granny, Chad. Nah, no, granny, I wear a. Uh, you I make him get it. Eleven. Eleven. They have elevens. They have elevens in jeans. Ross all kinds. I know. They have size. I ain't never seen before. Ross do. Ross do. I know. Ross do. Ooh, it's dark. I didn't mean for it to be dark like that. Hey, do you have curtains at your house? She said, "Do I have curtains?" What have you done to your house? Curtains up to the window. 
I put, I what you say you got? A, you say you got a lot of stuff in. in what you? No, what you I'm get? Still, I fixed the room. I just got to buy me some. Uh, I said I would put me some more curtains up to the room that I just changed around. And what room you changed around? Right? The guest room. Around. You got a bed the in room. It's been bed. Where well, your desk is? No, all the other room. That's the junk room. Oh, the room with the bed. I'm gonna get all that stuff out of that room. You ain't got no more that big desk in there. I'm, I'm, soon the booty come over there, all them pictures and stuff going up in the attic. Uh, Everything I had under that bed. Mama said you can't do that because the summer going to mess them up. Mama, it ain't nothing to mess up. Yeah, yeah. They in the frame. No, they will. You going to cover them up? They will what? That heat up there will mess them up. Now, a lot of stuff you can't put in the attic. You gonna cover them up? I think that's the best way to do it. You gonna put it up there? It's too hot to be doing all that stuff in there. Ain't doing all this cool. It's all right. What you mean? I'm wrong. Said y'all was talking about me. Bring your pictures over and put them on my wall. How you know when I ain't on? Y'all always think Mama don't want this. No. What she said? I'm talking about Granny. She said everybody. I got Mama. They, they, you know, they old home. They old home interior pictures. You don't want that. What's wrong with them, Shad? You know how we used to buy home interior long, 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 long time ago? Well, I don't know. The thing is, Greg, where you going to put them at, Chad? I don't need to take down some of this down and put them up. Ah. That's what, see, Karen, that's the way you do. Change out. So you like the best stuff. Well, you give me the money, I can go buy it. Me too, Mom. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't find out nothing at my age. I just want stuff that I ain't never had. You know, nice stuff. You don't like to buy something nice yeah, mom. for a change. But when I come up, I had to get stuff to give them to me. Once I got that nice bedroom suit in there, what I got. Yeah. That's when y'all were little at home. How old is that? How old is that bedroom? How old your bedroom suit, girl? You had them when you was a child, or you bought them? No. Oh, okay. Oh, that's up to date, yeah. Oh, I'm just saying, how old you the head? Bedroom, bedroom stuff, this couch, all this stuff up to date. I don't think Mom probably need to up to date the dining room table. I thought the bed upstairs was. Very, very, you know, it's the, old. The, 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 oh, the antique over here. Antique. That's the name for antique. It's really old. I've been I just, that's 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 really old. I knew, I just figured that bed right there because it's so big. I just thought it was. No, it's tall. What happened? Now, now that big bed with, with all the stuff in it, the mound, mm -hmm. that's on the other side. That's the one that's I thought was. Mm -hmm. That's why yeah. I like that bed. Got to be gone. Yeah. Thank God who that guy. I thought about Canada. I need to go buy me some paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mama, yeah. What you finna paint? What you gonna paint, Grand? Just paint some stuff. Yeah, paint some stuff. I can change the colors. Just keep it. Yeah, change the colors. I can change the colors. Change the colors. Ah, you talking about spray paint too? Or just paint the wall? No, nah, mom paint fun she needs. Oh, she roll the paint with you roll. With you. Well, you know, I do a lot of spray paint. Well, I tried to put that contact paper on that freezer in there, but I couldn't get it on the right. Mm. Yeah. I ain't spray painting nothing in a while. I'm going to put wild. some of the contact paper on my countertop. Do something miraculous. I can't go buy another piece because I bought that piece in there. Took the oven on, but I got to find somebody. The only thing about me is find somebody to fix the stuff. Well, you know. But if you buy countertop, ain't it got to be cut, Mom? No, she, she, no, I thought you said he trying to, she trying to buy the table. See, I bought this piece and then that man didn't cut that part. I just said she talking about countertop, too. I bought a straight piece and he cut it for the Oh, the real countertop, okay. So now I'm going to put this contact paper on it, but I don't think about it. I can't never get smooth. It just, Oh, yeah, when you got to get the air bubbles. Yeah, my air bubbles get in there, and I try to put them in the deep already got. Well, Mama, you know if you put that contact, you can't put nothing hot on it at all. At all, no hot. It'll melt. You can always sniff it out with some more. Oh, man, you gonna be buying a whole lot of contact paper. Sure. I ain't gonna buy nothing to put no hot stuff on the countertop. That's how I mess that in there. I set a pot in there and got the little hole on that part. You sure have to be careful when you put it on countertop. Yeah. But I ain't got that one little countertop in there. I need to put something else out. Well, I ain't gonna put it on Y'all come again. I'm here. Let me just come back. Well, I'm gone, y'all. Before it gets too late. All right, stay out too long.
Don't I be trying not to let it. Time gonna change. It'll be tomorrow. Change it. I thought it. I thought it be. I thought it was Sunday night. I thought it was Sunday night when they do Saturday night. I don't know why. Sunday. I thought it supposed to change midnight Sunday, but she said Saturday night. 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 Saturday yeah, it, it sometimes it get dark early at five o'clock, but now it's probably gonna get dark at eight. eight o'clock. Yeah. Mm hmm. You're just gonna be getting up early. I just did this here. like this for a minute. All right, y'all, I'm gone. Yeah, lock that door. I am. Same place I'm sitting in that door. Lock it back and walk in. What's you? No, this me. I wear a. A seven. A no, I, this is a seven in men. Oh, that's men. Oh, yeah, it's see, a seven have, in men. I have to wear a six and a half in men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nama, you might be in a uh, five and a half. I already tried. You already tried. Yeah. In me, I, I wear a six and a half in men and kids. All right, then, y'all. All right. I'll see uh, y'all in the next one. Oh, that's nothing. What here? What here, Granny? Uh, is he on his way over here? I might have to stay over here. I was trying to go see my brother today, y'all. He on his way? Okay, I'll stay here then. Mama, you said open your trunk. It's open. Y'all, I was going to go see my oldest brother before I head to the fresh market, but he on his way over here, so I might as well just wait. I'll just wait. Look, y'all. Mama, I want your shit. His name, no, Bison, y'all. Jumping on mama. Look mama, at all of them jump on you, y'all. Yeah, they ain't getting my lap. No, they smell all the dogs. Bison, mama. get down. No. <laughs> he look. He better. You want well, Granny brother? gonna treat him good. That's why, look. She, look he, he already clenched into her. <laughs> uh, you know, but Mama, you know, though. They to be trying to get in my lap. See, I just like my granny. Like I ain't going outside, no. I'm going to get big. Bigger than June, dog? No, June, dog, bigger than them. They were so little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were so tiny, yeah. wasn't they? Yeah. yeah. I, I seen them look like a little stomach. Don't look at them with me. That's a little thing. That's a little something. <laughs> he done been to the dog park and everything. Today? No, probably last yeah, week, 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 four last Little Ralph to be out there with them big old German stuff. Mama don't want you. Oh, look at this. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> Nigga, what other dog? The white dog. Oh, he acting fool. Uh oh. He, he don't act right. He be biting. No, he acting fool when he left because he, he know when, when the time to go. Oh. No, he talking about, he talking about Bruno. Oh. Yeah, the white dog. white dog. Who the white dog? What? The one you had before you moved. The one that you know now you come to the duplex. Oh, yeah. This, this, uh, Pearl. Somebody stole it. Oh, somebody stole it. Oh, I finna say. I know you better about to go walk. Somebody stole it. So now I'm counting the dog at the house. Sorry for the darkness. Oh, bro. Rice? No. Uh, the white dog, bro. Oh. We had shit Jacket brother had about him. How many dogs y'all got then? Just two. Jackie's brother had bought the, the one we got at the house, and he couldn't uh he couldn't keep it, so he sent them back, and we had every head seen. Uh, mm mm. Go to go to your mama. There go Granny. You smell cocoa on my shoes. You smell cocoa on my shoes. No. You smell cocoa on my shoes. Huh? Lots of tension. Huh? You smell cocoa on my shit. Huh? 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 Right, huh? Right, ain't you? Right, ain't Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, you gonna go stand here? <laughs> <laughs> you think like the Spice and spice and flames. I ain't got that. Oh, yeah, I took both of them over there and let them run around June back, y'all, about a couple of hours. I was going over to see Mama, but. She was at work. Well, you, well, you, yeah, I'd be a little bit. That was early. You know, Coco, you can't put no dog back like there Coco. Nah. Coco. Nah, I ain't bringing no over there for Coco. I'm going to tell you to get big so he can beat up. Nah, uh, Coco, <laughs> ain't, Coco ain't going to let you in the yard. You already know that. Coco ain't going to let you in the yeah, dog in the yard. Know.
Coco gonna act up every well, you time. You a candy bean, man, right? looking like a mom and a dog. I oh. say it's mom and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is a mess. I ain't got nothing. Y'all been doing all right. I ain't, I ain't boys. What you up? They went to some. What you up? He following, mama. He following you. Just left the right. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I don't know why my camera yeah, going yeah, blurry in one minute and then. Yeah, ain't you trade up that quick? Yeah, I ain't got anything. Uh, being clear one minute. Y'all don't know what's wrong oh, with my camera. Okay. Don't tell me the truth. I get mine so many treats. I get some. I ain't got nothing, chat. I ain't pulling the shoes off. Oh, that, he be trying to eat his He's tail. Nah. Oh, Coco don't want to. Like, be trying to go in Coco circles and stuff. Coco, Coco, Coco do that. Yeah. Coco that that come from being bored, though. Coco, Coco, Coco being Coco. on the dog and then being bored. Oh, yeah. You gotta find yeah. something to do and after Coco so long ain't. doing it, yeah. Yeah. it'll just be a routine. Coco ain't got no friends. Yeah, that's what it is. She needs some dogs. Where y'all? Where y'all? They got friends. You know, Charlie, uh, Got a little bitty dog. Where Charlie? He he got him and Duda gone somewhere with that cousin. Mm. Yeah, Charlie got a little dog in, in his house. A little white dog. He grown, but he about this big. <laughs> he a little frisky thing too. Yeah, yeah. Wow, he cute too. Yep, snowball. He a little frisky thing. <laughs> I usually get him when Charlie come over to the house. I don't know why he ain't bring him. You bet on the fifteenth. Oh, okay, Juliet on the fifteenth. Juliet or Juliet? No, Juliet. Get down from there. She going to high school. Mm -hmm. Oh, she graduated from the middle school. Okay. Wait a minute. Dude he graduated from what? Dude. Yeah. Dude coming out of 12th grade. Oh, okay. Dude, oh, dude didn't on got. The same day. I didn't know he was that. That old, and then I didn't know he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he's like he. Oh, I didn't know Dude was up in age where he was in the 12th grade. I thought he was like in the 10th or something. Mama, I didn't know. Be I did not know. I thought Duty was in the Duty 10th grade. In August. You talking about Duty? You said Duty be how old? <laughs> He'll be how old? Uh, Milky. Duty will be 18 in August. Oh, my Duty. goodness. And Charlie will be 16 this month on the 13th. Oh, yeah. They growing. Everybody so, growing. Julie, Julian finna be 17, right? Who? Julian. Julian, she be 17. Yeah, Mama! Gonna be 19 when his birthday Where have I been? Where have I been? Yeah, my mom said, hiding in the house. <laughs> Girl, I did not know my house. nephew was 18. You know Julie be 19. I thought he was 17. And Jemiah was 18. No, Julian 18. You know Jemiah and Marquise is Jemiah, Julian, and the same age. Oh, Julian and. And Jemiah the same age. I didn't know that. I don't know why I thought Ain't Julian gonna was. Ain't Jemiah going to be 19 in June? Mm -hmm. Well, then Julian going to be 19 when his birthday coming out. And, uh, 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 well, I ain't never going to He just, she just a oh. month older than him. That's all. That's a few <laughs> yeah, months. Jemiah ain't not much more older than Julian. So Julian, he uh, he had Julian out of school then, or this is no, last Julian year. Exactly. This year was his birthday late. Like, his oh, birthday cause that's October. why I was like, wait a minute, now. he's supposed to be out of school then. No, his birthday, birthday in October. See, Jemiah, mm. Jemiah's in June. Hers is correct. That's why yeah. she, okay. June didn't come to, to October, so he couldn't start school till late. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. You know Mama old. She watching the Cowboys. That don't make me old. Nah, Mama old. Mama. Been watching the Cowboys. I ain't know that. You know that I watch Cowboys all the time. Cowboys, Law and Order, stuff like that. Yeah. All the movies. Watch that on TV. Uh, Granny Cowboys and Scared Movie. Yeah, yeah. Mama Cowboys and like and the uh, law stuff. Like yeah, mm. like law and war. Miss Dunsaw Mystery. Like that. Boy, you sure got a lot of mail at my house. It's probably this much. I've been had. <laughs> yeah, you sure have. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe most of them ain't never jumped. I don't know. I need yeah. something. I need something to uh. I start my wood in my, in my barrel, in my wood, my five feet anyway. That's why you well, my junk mail. I'm going to get some paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I burn it. I burn them. Granny got a lot of paper upstairs. Oh, well, you know, I be burning the barrel, so we be <laughs> broke up some marshmallows that night. I ain't ready to burn some paper over there. I ain't no broken boss. I'm burning that paper now, boy. Oh, yeah. I'm finna get ready to go, child, for... The darkness catch me. 
He ride with y'all everywhere you go. Yeah, I got thing in the truck and Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Come on, honey. I like them shoes. Thank you, thank you. When I be finna do some work. I been moving for more. I move my good tank. Watch your horse doing time back here. You know, turn. Mom, I move, turn, son. Still today. How old is son? As long as the dead. Ralph's probably about. Thought somebody might have. Got to be about twenty. Three, twenty-two. They said they want. Who they pay to have? I'm finna get ready to go, Grant. All right, baby. I'm gone. Okay, be careful. Okay. What you going to? Man. She got a vlog, Miss. I'm going to the fresh market. Yeah, got a vlog. You going on. to the who market? To the fresh market. <laughs> to get some fresh stuff. Yeah, just some fruit and some vegetables. Sit. Nope. Oh, yeah. Make, make, give me some more, right, too, man. Hey, I'm coming to you. You going to go get it? I bought me a juicer. A juicer? Oh, you bought a juicer. Yeah, I was supposed to be got a juicer. Well, I ain't got one yet. You going to buy a juicer when you got a brand new one at my house. A brand, new a brand new juice at Mama House. Did you know that? Uh -oh, where was yeah, he. I, I don't know. The juice a long time ago. I gave it to you. Gave it back to you. All right, y'all. Let me. Oh shoot! Wait a minute. My brother got the move because his truck behind. Yeah, it's locked. I'm gonna see y'all when I get on the road. Okay. <sighs> I'm finally here, y'all, to shoot y'all this quick review, right quick. So. I got a bag to share with y'all on today. And this bag came from babalabags.com. Babalabags.com, okay? I got a coupon code that I will be sharing with y'all a little bit later in the video. But I got a Gucci, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing with y'all. This is how everything came, by the way, y'all. Okay, came to my little box right here. I am so sick of it. So this is my dust bag. All right. Oh, I know I should have just took everything off the bag, y'all, before I <laughs> jump right into this review. Because y'all know it's going to take me a minute to get this stuff off. But you know what? I appreciate how they wrap up the bag so they won't get damaged and stuff. This is so cute. This is so dang on cute. Let me just try to take this part here off right quick. Oh, ain't she cute? Look at that, y'all. She is a little cutie pie. Well, listen, I'm going to be right back. And I'm going to get the rest of this stuff off of here, y'all. And I'm going to go into detail about this bag, okay? I got some ideas. I'll be right back. All right, my friends. So this is what Miss Gigi Gucci Marmont. Um, this is the canvas print, by the way. And this one here comes in many more other colors, y'all. I just decided to get the brown print. But this is how she looks. She is a cutie pie to me. We're going to go ahead and open her up. It's a little clamp on here. Here it is. To where you can unbuckle, you know, and open her up like this. She is pretty... You know, I mean, it ain't giving a whole lot of space, but she okay. She okay. We got like a little, you know, pocket component right there where you can store whatever you want on the side. And this here, y'all, is all leather right here. And then the whole entire bag on the outside is like a, a canvas print, almost like a cotton material print. And I like this. This is real cute. And you know, you can wear this as a double strap like this as y'all can see or you know you can do it as a crossbody and you can wear it like this you can just wear it down as a crossbody like this here okay so yeah i may do it both ways y'all when i'm out running my little errands or whatever i may do the crossbody look but if i decide to rock this to church i will have to do the you know the double strap but of course, it's gold hardware on the strap and 
the little Gigi print right here in the front. And it does not have any feet or anything. And all of this here is all like black leather going around. But I'm just not realizing that all this here on the side and in the bottom is like all leather. Which ain't too bad. I think that's like different. So, yeah, I think it's cute. Um, This bag is running maybe like $2,000. That's a retail price. And I think she's selling this bag for like three maybe two or three hundred some dollars y'all on her website but i'm not for sure i have to look and see y'all because i didn't go back on on her site to check and see how much she was selling it for but i'll have to look and see right quick so y'all know um let's see So, y'all, I ain't even got it on here. I thought I had the, uh, I thought I had the price and stuff on here. But it's 2000 and some dollars, like, on the, um, uh, on the Gucci website. So, yeah. But anyway, I do have a coupon code for y'all. And it is CP. 2648 and you will get a percentage off if you decide to get on her site and order a bag from off of her site just use that code put my code in child and you will get something took off of your price okay y'all know i'm frugal <laughs> y'all know i love to catch a deal baby but anyway i think this is really cute y'all and like i mentioned this does come in a lot of more other colors i think this bag in pink like the canvas part is pink. I've seen it in blue. I've seen it in red. And I've also seen it in like a multiple color. Like red, green. A little bit of that pinkish, purplish. Like mixed in. And I think I got a hat like that, child. I don't know. I think I got a hat. A Gucci hat that's like all multi-colors. But I was trying to um, see who had the bag that goes with my hat. I don't think she had the bag. That's the reason why I grabbed this one. But I do have a brown Gucci cap that'll go with this. And I got some shoes that'll go with this. So that's the reason why I went ahead on and picked this one up. But yeah, she's a winner for me. She's cute. I like it. And y'all let me know what y'all are thinking about this bag. I'm going to jump back into my vlog, y'all. So y'all just stay tuned. And I will see y'all on the other side. Okay, babies? On my way to the Fresh Market, y'all. I'm finally leaving my granny's house. Finally. Girl, my brother is a mess. Y'all hear me? He is something else with himself. Oh, Jesus. Mm, I knew my brother had a juicer, though, y'all. I remember him telling me he bought a juicer some years ago. And he went out and bought a new one. Now he can give me the one he just bought. Because I surely was supposed to be bought me a juicer. What was that last year, y'all? When I was taking y'all in Target looking for a juicer. <laughs> girl i be having so much going on baby dolls it's a lot of stuff that just be slipping my mind and i just don't be thinking about stuff no more like i need to but it's other stuff that you know that has been going on and going out and buy a juicer ain't one of them <laughs> i'm just saying but lord knows i need one though i do need one it's just that i just ain't thought about the get out here and look for one again and you know what? I did get online. I went on Amazon looking for a juicer. And I did see a couple of juices on there. And I was supposed to be order the juicer. But it's like I kept looking and looking. And I was just like, no, nah, I don't want that one. Then I kept looking at the reviews. And then I was like, no, nah, I don't want that one. And then something, I started doing something else. And then, you know, I forgot about it, child. And I didn't think nothing else of it. I just forgot about it. So, oh, Lord. Maybe my brother give me one of his juices <laughs> since he got two of them. But anyway, y'all, I'm trying to laugh and perk myself up right now because when I was in my granny's house and I turned the camera off for a minute, I logged on to my Instagram. And um, I noticed that Miss Petalis Bless has left here. And I didn't know that because even when somebody passed away, y'all, I be having other stuff going on in my life. I do. But when I, like, log on to 
my other social medias because I'm, I'm not always on YouTube so I really don't be knowing what be going on and plus I watch a lot of y'all and I be trying my best to like keep up but girl when I'm at work when I have life going on out here and I just can't get to a lot of videos or 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 you know a lot of things that has happened once I log on to my Instagram that's how I'll find out certain things and I rarely be on my Instagram so y'all forgive me if I be coming to y'all a little late trying to uh, spun to y'all on some of, uh, of of the messages, the DMs that I be getting because ooh, I need to go this way. Because y'all, I be having a whole lot going on. A whole lot going on. And, um, you know, sometimes my schedule is full. Y'all hear me? It's full. And I want many of you sisters to understand that I don't have a lot of time like I used to. But I be trying to make time for y'all Just like today Girl I'm off work today So I'm able to vlog for y'all And I thank God that I'm off today And that I'm even able to go to church tomorrow Because like I told y'all some days You know I'm working on Sundays and Saturdays And some days I'm not So and it just hurts my heart That you know I'm not even At church on Sundays because normally I go to church Like every Sunday But when I'm at work And I miss like uh, uh, church services y'all I come home and tune in or whatever get my praise on and stuff and worship and stuff like that get in my word but I just be wanting to be present in the house of the Lord that's just me I be wanting to be there but anyways what I wanted to say was my deepest deepest condolences goes out to Miss Petalus Bliss it's just y'all she was a beautiful soul I used to watch her a lot and a lot of times I did miss a couple of her videos. A lot of times I've missed a lot of y'all videos. And um it just it just hurt my heart to know that she's gone too soon. She's gone too soon. It really shocked me. Just like it shocked me when I found out that um Alicia's mother died. You know, it just it, it's whoa, it's just y'all. When you know you've been watching a person for a very long time and you get to know them, even though you're not right there directly in their state, but it's like you you have like this closeness to them. Like they're your sister or your auntie or your mother or whatever you want to call them. You know, they cling to you and you, you'll have like that close relationship with them. And I know with Alicia's mom, I used to call her mom. Y'all, she used to talk to me and stuff like that. I used to call her mom and stuff. And, you know, that hurt my heart when I found out that she passed. And I would pray for her and pray for her. I would pray for Alicia because I know Alicia went through a lot. I know she had to do a lot because I've seen it. She did a lot and she helped her mother much as she can. But, you know, she's in a better place now. And I told Alicia that she's in a better place now. But my deepest condolences goes out to Alicia's mom and Miss Pettis, Pettilis Bless. My deepest condolences goes out to both of them. Miss Mama Margaret, I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss seeing her on the vlogs. I'm going to miss seeing Miss Pettilis Bless. Like, those are beautiful souls, y'all, that's gone too soon. Even though Miss Margaret, she was up in age and stuff, and, you know, she was battling some things. Know, sometimes God will call you home so that you can feel better you know so that you won't hurt no more so now that she's in a better place I bet she's just sitting high just smiling at Alicia <laughs> she just smiling and even Miss Petal is blessed she probably just sitting up high just smiling and just looking at all of us just you know giving her her flowers giving her her flowers even though I gave her her flowers when she was here because I used to watch her videos and I used to you know, I used to thank her a lot for just coming on, sharing her creativity with us. I used to tell her I love her. You know, she was just a beautiful soul. She used to come on and help us. She used to show her little bags and stuff, her little designer bags. I mean, y'all. Oh, Jesus, help me. But I've mentioned on one of my videos that all of us, we need to get our lives together. We need to get right with the Lord. And I'm speaking to everybody. Everybody that comes across this video. 
And when I speak to y'all about the good Lord, it's not that I'm just saying something. I'm really talking to y'all from my heart and I am sincerely trying to tell y'all to get right with God that he's not a man that you shall play with our heavenly father. He's nothing to play with. And when I say read the Bible, y'all, I'm not telling y'all what to do, but I'm trying to encourage you sisters and your brothers to get in the word, to read the word so you will know God's commandments, so you will go by what he's asking of all of his children to do so that you will find yourself in heaven so that you can repent and once you read the word and once you repent you try your best to live a righteous life because God does not condone in wickedness he does not like liars okay so and I know many of us many of us y'all like i always say many of us fall short of the glory of god but the lord will definitely pick us back up we shall repent and he shall renew our spirit and we're going to start all over again and get it right the next day it gives us chance after chance after chance until it's too late until it's too late so i pray in the name of jesus that you guys get a closer walk within the Lord that you seek his face that you fast that you pray and that you ask God for understanding ask him from for wisdom knowledge ask him to order your steps because he will surely do it. he will do it. and I just pray I pray to God y'all, that we all get it together because you know I'm not a perfect child of God either I'm not I may have been chosen but I'm not perfect and my father knows this but he also knows that Candace will and she shall try her best every day to live an uprighteous life due to the things that he wants me to do due to my calling due to my purpose I have to live an uprighteous life I have to know. and if I find myself doing anything out of his will I shall and I will repent and I will say Father God in the name of Jesus create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me in the name of Jesus I have to prophesy that I have to say that because sometimes y'all my days ain't always they're not always good you know I have days to where I'm weary to where I'm down to where I can't see my way sometimes but when I pray and fast the good Lord helps me he picks me back up again and I start back over and my spirit is renewed and I just pray to God that you all get the understanding in the word when you read to understand even some of the words that you may not can pronounce like myself I would have to go like in the back of the Bible or I have to go in my accordions, my accordions, I mean, I'll be saying it right, to look up the word and to see what it means. And once I find out what it means, y'all, then I'll continue to read it. Then I'll get a better understanding. But I'm definitely in my Bible. That's what I like to read. I like to read the Bible, the Bible. I don't really like to read a whole lot of other different, you know, books and stuff like they have a lot of different books that will help us that will motivate us that will encourage us but Candace will be in her Bible her word where the Lord himself has written okay he has written and I like to read that to know that this came from the God that we serve the father that loves us unconditionally this came from him and not just from a person that just wrote something in a book. So I stay in my Bible to get an understanding to read and to be taught, y'all. Everything that I know I lack, I get in my Bible and read and get an understanding. And I ask God to help me to understand, to sharpen my discernment, sharpen my clarity so that I can see clear in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. But he does come through. God comes through for me all the time he comes through y'all and I thank him for that I so thank him for that I think I was going to be got off right here y'all I'm talking to y'all and I think I was going to be got off and 
went this way. Oh Lord, I may have to turn around. But anyway, like I was saying, y'all just draw closer to the Lord. Because we are here today and tomorrow we could be gone. Don't nobody know their death date. Don't nobody know the time, the season, the year, the month that we're going to get up out of here. So you better worship, you better praise, you better repent, you better get yourself saved if you're not saved. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. But I just pray that you guys just get a closer walk within the Lord. Because we are living in our last days. And time is ticking. And God is not playing with none of us. None of us. And sometimes he calls people home to get other people's attention. And it'll make them think about some things. It's not necessarily for them to be hurt. Which, you know, we're going to be hurt anyway. Just because they're already gone too soon. Sometimes God has to show us some things to let everybody out here in the world know that I'm still God. I'm in control. So y'all just get a close to walk with him. And I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that y'all get in y'all word. I pray. I pray. Hallelujah. That y'all get in y'all word. And I don't even know if y'all are in y'all word. But for those that aren't in the word like you should be, just get in the Bible and read it for yourself. And you will understand. You will understand. Okay? I love y'all. And I have to turn all the way around, y'all. I have to turn all the way around. I may can go this way, though. Because I came and... Oh, this is the wrong way, I think. Let me look at this, this sign, y'all. Because I'm trying to figure out. Because you know what? I was looking on my phone. And I was trying to see, since I'm leaving Granite's house, I was trying to see where the closest fresh market was. So I won't be going all out the way. But the one that I'm going to now is the closest. So this is the one I'm trying to go to. But I think, like I said, I think I'm going the wrong way. So I'm just going to have to turn down this road and see. Um, I'm probably going to have to put my map on. But anyway, I'm going to see y'all when I get to the Fresh Market, okay? I don't want to talk y'all head off. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get to this Fresh Market, babies. Who I hate to set an address in my phone and use the map, y'all. I hate because it'll take me all around the world. And then it'll take me the long way. Y'all, it took me a good, like, I'm going to say, like, maybe 25 minutes to get here. Because it took me all around the world. And you know what? I wasn't even planning on coming to this one out, out this way. I was trying to go to um, the other fresh market that I knew about. But I thought I was going to that particular location. Girl. I said, what in the world am I going? This is just way too far. But I know, like I said, coming from my granny's house, y'all, I know that I was trying to get one that was closer, you know, instead of me going all out the way. This was actually further. Girl, what is you doing behind me? I was trying to get... Wait a minute, what this say? I don't know what this say right there, so I don't want to get, get in nobody's parking spot that's not... uh. I'm gonna have to park over here. But anyway, girl. Oh Lord. This doggone map, this little navigation system just took me all around the world. I'm thankful I made it here though. <laughs> I just hope and pray y'all I don't get caught in the dark. I don't want to get caught in the dark, but I know that it's about to get dark though because it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. It may not look like it's gonna get dark, but it's gonna get dark. <sighs> Lord Jesus. So I'm gonna run in here right quick, y'all, and hopefully I can find some stuff that I need.
Oh, it's so nice up in here. Let me just see what kind of oil. Uh, see what kind of fruit I need to pick up. I should have got a basket like this because I don't need nothing real big. Okay, y'all. Let's see. They got a nice little sale. They bananas ain't number 89 cents. Yeah. That ain't too bad. And these are organic. Hmm. I may need to grab some of these bananas, y'all. Try to grab some that's not going to get right too, too fast. Let me find me a bag right there, y'all. strawberries they get. Hmm. I don't know if these they got something called Wish Farm right here. I wonder if these sweet. I may just grab like a bunch. I may just grab like a batch of y'all. And I may just see if these right here sweet. They may not be sweet. I wonder why they're doing this. Girl, they let it be so small. I wonder why it's so small, y'all. <laughs> I know when I picked up the organic cabbage when I was at Kroger, those were so small. I wonder if they got cabbage up in here. I think I'm gonna go with this one since this is the only one that I see is a little bigger. I'm gonna go and get that one. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all what I gotta pick up though. Girl, I gotta pick up me a beetroot. It's this drink that I'm gonna make for myself. Is these beets right here? I think it is. I'm just gonna pick up one beetroot, y'all. Mm, let me get a bag right here. But, um, what are they bags? There goes some right here. Y'all, I'm gonna pick up me a beetroot because it's this drink that I need to make for myself. And uh, it's just gonna help out with the body. And I know when I make it, it's gonna be so nasty. But it's just like lemon with beetroot with, um, it's something else that goes in the drink, but I can't think of it right now, but I did, uh, I screenshotted a picture of the ingredients. And I kept saying to myself, I said, I know this drink ain't gonna be good, but due to me not having a dog blood or chair, I know it's gonna like help out with my body real good. And y'all know I hate beets. I can't just eat beets by itself. Like I have to take the supplement. And I think I showed many of y'all the beet of uh, the beet root that I take. I don't know if I uh shared it with y'all recently but I know I've told y'all that I do take take the supplement because I cannot stand how beetroot tastes so they got this stuff all wet child and I want my hands wet Ooh. but anyway yeah I'm gonna make that drink up and I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what it do to my body which I know it's gonna do my body some good I just don't want to have that taste in my mouth. I just don't want the taste in my mouth. Mm, this right here looks good. This looks so dang on good, y'all. It's like I want to buy it. <laughs> but then again, I actually want to just cut up me some fruit myself. And just, you know eat it whenever I feel like I want to eat it because when you buy it like this sometimes and if you don't eat all of it, it begins to start getting old so and you know I normally would buy something like the little the little miniature little things at Kroger like this something that's not too big but that looks so dang on good it's like I so want to get this y'all I so want to get this <sighs> But I'll pass, I'll pass on it, I ain't gonna eat it. I'll just stick with my strawberries and my bananas. And uh, 
I need to give me some more. Uh, let's see. I need to give me some more romaine lettuce. I really don't like to buy it in a bag like this. I really like to get it in these containers because I know it'll last longer. Hmm. That's not what I normally would get though. Let me see what's all in this. Well, I go and get it since it got a mixture of, you know, a lot of the um, the spring mix in here. I go and get it. Got me a cantaloupe right quick. So I guess this is where they had all of their uh, what is this? These are snow crab, y'all. There's only like one bag left in here. Yeah, them people must came and just wrapped up on them uh, snow crabs. They must have had a lot of them in here and a lot of people grabbed them. This is their little, uh, their little uh, bar, I guess salad bar, where they got all these different type of olives and I don't eat none of this type of stuff right here, y'all. Mm -mm. No to the ma'am. Oh, it smells so fresh over here. Like, it smells like fresh. Okay, I see now why it smells like fresh coffee beans. <laughs> Y'all, coffee smells good to me, even though I really don't like to drink it and I don't like coffee, but it smells good. It smells so refreshing. And all of this here is like coffee beans. Mmm, this scent just, mmm. It smells so good. Let me see what they got over here. Look like they got some pasta salad. They got a lot of different pasta salads. This is like some potato salad right here. Hmm. Some chicken breast. Some, uh, some type of marinated. Hello. I'm just looking. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that must be coleslaw. I don't know what this is, y'all. They got lemon orzo salad with pine nuts. It may not be good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just showing y'all what's over here. Y'all know I just I really can't just eat this type of stuff right here. <laughs> so I'm just letting y'all see what's over here, Chad. Okay, so. Let's see what they got over here. I think, um, oh, here it is right here. This is some pecan chicken breast. Wait a minute, is this what Tamika showed us in her video? Or did she show us some pecan like salmon or something? I forgot what the girl showed. She showed something. But that is some pecan chicken breast. Y'all see how that looks? Mmm. This is some Nashville hot chicken breast. They just got a lot of different stuff. What is this? This is coconut shrimp with mango. Coconut sauce. Mmm. Wow, okay. That salmon looks good. Right here in the bag. What they say, Quincy Lorraine? Girl, I don't know what in the world. <laughs> I don't know what that is right there, baby. I just don't know. Oh, that fish, how y'all? Boneless rainbow trout filet. This catfish is ten dollars. I don't think I need to get me like uh hmm. I want me some catfish, y'all. But you know what? I like to buy the catfish that's like in the box. And you getting like a whole lot of it instead of just purchasing purchasing like maybe one or two. But I really need to purchase one or two. Cause it's just me. Now if I get a box of it, you know, I can eat it, you know whenever I want to just like eat it on certain days whenever I'm craving like catfish or whatnot but this getting it fresh I have to go ahead and go ahead and cook this fish because you can't just let that sit in the refrigerator 
but I can freeze it. But you know, I really just go ahead and cook it and eat it. <sighs> I'm gonna go around here though and see if they got some catfish in the box. Let me see what's over here. Just some chicken breast. This salmon right here, y'all. Just two pieces of salmon, fourteen ninety nine for just two pieces of salmon, y'all. This just girl. Whew. These prices, these prices. You can get a whole bag of salmon at Kroger for fourteen ninety nine. You can get a whole bag. Mm mm mm. Broccoli look good right there. This looks really good right here. The chicken Alfredo. It look real good. But you know, I make my own chicken Alfredo. I make mine um, homemade. And that's how you know you can get more because you're making your own instead of just buying that little, that little bit and you're getting less. <laughs> and you're spending a lot of money buying it, but you're getting less. Instead of making your own, then you'll be able to get more. I didn't know they had like cooked food over here. They got some chicken wings, some hot wings. These, I guess these are like regular chicken wings, hot wings, macaroni cheese, broccoli, and this may be like a baked potato or something. Baked mashed potato, baked potato or something like that. Mm. So y'all done ran into some wild protein chips. What does it say? Chicken breast, egg white, and bacon broth? I'm sorry with the uh, Himalayan pink salt. Mmm. I don't know about those. <laughs> they got them in all different like flavors. This is chicken and waffles. Oh, okay, now I see. This is the uh, Himalayan salt flavor and then this is chicken and waffle flavor. And then they have this flavor here, which is, um, this is the buffalo flavor right here. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like these ain't gonna be good. It's the sea salt and vinegar. Mmm. I don't know about this right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my basket out the out the uh, middle of the walkway. <laughs> um, can I get two of these catfish fillets? Yeah, that's a big fish. Look how big. That's a big fish right there. Did y'all just put that fish out? Is it fresh? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but I'll go ahead and fry me up some catfish. I'll probably make me a pot of spaghetti. Thank you. I'll probably, uh, i probably make me a pot of spaghetti, y'all. <laughs> With some slaw. I'm gonna bring back the old days, girl. Give me a slice of soft white bread. Girl, make me a fish, a fish and spaghetti sandwich with a little bit of slaw, yes. That's the old school way. <laughs> Many of y'all probably don't know nothing about that, but girl, I used to tear that up back in the day. Excuse me. It used to be so good. So, so good. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. When I fry my fish, I have to eat it like right then and there. Like I cannot fry fish and then like put it in the refrigerator and try to warm it up in the microwave the next day and eat it. It tastes like very mushy. It don't taste good. So I like my fish to be fresh right out the grease. And that's the only way I'm gonna eat it. But I'm gonna get ready to check out y'all. And I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Y'all, them bags heavy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
I'm making progress, y'all. I'm making progress. I'm making progress. And how about the sun is trying to come out? Remember me telling y'all that the sun was going to come out today at 5? <laughs> and it's supposed to be really getting dark out here. But the sun is trying to peep out the clouds. Out the... uh. Uh, 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 what y'all call that? <laughs> out the cloudy clouds. I'm going to say that because it looked like it's been a storm out here. But the sun is peeping through the clouds, y'all. Peeping through the clouds. I did good up in there. Even though I really didn't buy no whole, whole lot of, hmm, no whole lot of fruit that I wanted to buy. But I did pretty good, y'all. I did. I did. $36. But what I got, I did good. Mm -hmm. I did pretty good. Let me give me one of these bananas. Whew. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat today. I don't even know. I don't know what I want to eat today, y'all. Hmm. I have no clue. Let me look at my phone because the whole time I was up in there doing doing my little shopping, I did not once look at my phone, not one time to see what was on my list that I put on here to even grab, y'all. I'm supposed to be going according to what I put on here. That's what I need. <laughs> hmm. Let me see. Okay. I got my lettuce. I got my beetroot from out of here. I did not get my turkey bacon. I probably end up getting some from Kroger when I go there. I'm gonna have to give me some turkey bacon, y'all. Dog, I should've got my chicken breast out of here. Got my beetroot. Man, me just thinking about the drink that I'm gonna make the taste. Mmm. Y'all, it's gonna be so nasty. Let me tell y'all what's in it right quick. I had screenshot it. Um, what was supposed to be in it? Okay, here it is. It's beetroot. Then you gotta put some lemon juice, like fresh lemon juice in it. It's some raw honey. That's what goes in it. Oh, that's gonna be nasty. I know it's gonna be so nasty. Mmm, I gotta drink it though, y'all. I gotta drink it. Even though it's gonna be, it's probably gonna have that funny taste in my mouth. Oh, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this banana, Lord. In Jesus' name. I thank you, God, for blessing me. I thank you for blessing me, Father. To be able to just, you know, go to the grocery store and buy what I need. Thank you, Jesus. Mmm. Y'all. I keep thinking. I keep thinking about this drink. Some of y'all drink beetroot. I know some of y'all probably mix it in y'all smoothies and stuff. And I know the taste is very bitter. It's like a really, like, I don't know if it's sour. But I remember my granny, she would give me, like, the pickled beetroot. Like, she would give it to us. Like, a lot of her grandkids. And she would have us to taste it. And I never did like it when she gave it to me. Like, I never liked it. It's just, I don't like the aftertaste. It just don't taste good. <laughs> never since she introduced me to that. And I tasted when I was smaller. I never liked beets. Never. I never liked, I never liked the smell of it. Mm-mm. I just couldn't I couldn't stand the smell and I definitely couldn't like stand like the aftertaste just it being in my mouth it didn't taste good mm -mm. I'm heading back oh I'm gonna have to close my bag because I know it's not gonna stay it ain't gonna stay up here on this thing and every time it fall over all my little stuff be falling out my purse Y'all, y'all see the sun peeping, trying to come out when it's supposed to be getting dark. I guess due to daylight saving time, that's going to go on tomorrow. 
-huh. But my mama said it's supposed to hit tonight. So, Chad, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that we are supposed to set our clocks. Is it up an hour, y'all? I think it's up an hour. For uh, daylight saving time. And then we're going to have more time, you know, to be out here if you want to be out here because it's not going to get dark probably until 8 o'clock. So, mm. let me see what my camera on. Y'all, I done came all the way out here to this fresh market, girl. I should have went to a closer one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got all these bags on this seat, and it's it's causing my uh, my seatbelt alarm thing to go off. Cause there ain't nobody sitting over here, so the seatbelt not gonna be connected. It's just all these bags sitting on this seat. It's putting a lot of pressure on the seat. It's gonna make that thing go off, y'all. But mm -hmm. I'm finna head on. Um, I could've took y'all in the booster supply store. I'm trying to see where the where one is right here. They go Target right here. I could have went up in Target, but it ain't nothing that I need from out of Target right now. Hmm. I don't see no bird supply store over here nowhere. Because you know what? I should just I should just go to my mama's house. And she should be at home right about now. Go over there and get my hot con from her house. <laughs> yep, that's probably what I end up doing, y'all. Instead of going to the British supply store buying me a new one, I may just go stop at her crib and get that one. I need to go to Kroger though and finish my grocery shopping. But I just I don't feel like it. I don't even feel like it. <sighs> I really don't feel like it. My mama might got something in her house to eat right quick, but I knows I gotta go to this store. Lord knows I do. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna definitely have to go. It's a lot of cars on the street now. At first, everybody was just like, I don't know, the street didn't look so, so full. But now, it seemed like, oh, why are you trying to stop? I'm sorry, y'all. The whole camera flew because this, this car in front of me just... Like, girl, put your signal light on before you begin to want to stop in front of somebody. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry about that. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to see y'all when I get to wherever I'm going. Probably my mama. She just... I'm not going to stop barking. Mom, I came over here to get my hot cone. Yeah, my hot cone. But I here let you. Hot cone, the flat iron, the straightening yeah, cone. Yeah, the straightening cone. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I was gonna go to you the beauty supply store. Oh, I was gonna go to the beauty supply store and buy me one, but I said I don't go. Come on, that one. Whatever that is. This hand is dry. Oh, look at you. Why is it so cold in your house? Cause I ain't no heat on. I ain't had a heat on today. Yeah, I need this. I was trying to flat iron my hair. When well, I flat iron, do the hot comb you up here. Your mama, look at all this hair. <laughs> What's wrong with your hair? I need it straight. You see how? Ah, right, mama, your hair ain't gonna get straight, honey. What? <laughs> your hair ain't gonna get straight. Why you said my hair won't get straight? Cause it's, it's nappy. It's it not, ain't nappy. No, it's not nappy. It's natural, so it's not gonna get straight. Just like Jamai hair ain't gonna get straight. So it's gotta be like a uh, perm. When you wash it and then you do. No, nah, you have to go to the beauty shop and let them do a. Uh, uh, what you gonna do with this? It? I'm gonna do my. I gotta use it for my wigs to flatter in the top oh, part of wigs. my wigs. Yeah, not with my hair. hair. Uh uh, not with my hair. <laughs> I need it for my wigs to flat. Oh, I thought you was do flatten my wigs. Like, it ain't gonna straighten your hair either, then. No, I ain't using this. I be using my flat urns to 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 do to flat my hair. I need another picture. What do you think about paint paint one on black and one on white? Flat 
Put them over there. You just did though. You know that's so all. I just did that. That one. Oh, you wanted them different. Okay. Because yeah, I'm trying I to see the, well, they the same. What's on there? What's this stuff called again? That's plaster. That's plaster. That's what it's called. This, she just this, did this picture. Y'all right probably can't here, tell. This one, this the old one. But I'm going to put a black frame around. So you oh, you're going to make it like a white. picture. Okay. Yeah. Because I was thinking about putting one here and one there. Well, what about this side? The clock over there. Oh, girl, ain't you pay no attention to your clock. See that? You can't put no one right there. That wall too big. See how big that wall is? Mm -hmm. You can't put no one right there. That mm. ain't work. You were trying to just put black frames around both of them. I was trying to see if I was going to paint. I did that one because I said I was going to paint that whole picture just black. And I was going to have black and white. Black and white. So your kitchen black and white. That's what you decided. That's what I was going to do. So what would, what would be your pop of color? You taking the yellow out? The yellow? Yeah. So That's why you... I took the yellow curtain down. Because I don't want it no more. I'm so you're going to take the yellow out. What would be your pop of down. color with the with the black or, black and white? Or you just want black and white? Oh, uh, yeah. With why nothing you else. Can you can just have black and white. Because I want them curtains Because you know you still got silver in here. Yeah, I want to take them curtains down. And put some black ones up. Solid black. Mm -hmm. And then put some, uh, I was thinking about putting, if I put black curtains here, the longs, and then put a white swag. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. black, black curtains on each side and then, and then and it had like a white had swag. Yellow, mm -hmm. Have it white. Come. Think about putting a white one up there. That ain't gonna look too bad. And then just paint that picture there. And one of them. Just paint one of them solid black and the other white. Oh, you want a black, or, a white one and a black one, and you want the black frame around or I both could of just, them? Or, or I could just paint both of them, leave just like that, and paint them white, and just put a black frame around both of them. Mm. It's really so up I to you. Know. I think that either either or, it's still, did, it's still going to look right. I did that one because I said I could put a white one on one side right here, and right next to it, I could put the black. So I have white and black. In the clock, Mama said I can move the clock. You that, can, you Mama can. Mama said move the clock on that wall. Yeah, that's how I got mine. You know how you just sit the clock on the smallest wall in the kitchen? Mama said put the clock. Cause this but wall see, is big. Small, no, but, this, but that one ain't because I keep the door open. See, if I close that door, it's gonna be big like this, like this side. If I close that door, but mm. since I keep that door open, that make that space small. Cause I keep the door open. Now, if I close this door, yeah, you, you see, do. You can't put space, your clock over here. That's how much space gonna be on this side. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying. You to can see. just test it. I said test it. <laughs> you can put this stuff up there and see how it look. Once you get done with your pictures, just see how it look. Well, but you see, ain't gonna really be able to tell. Mind. You really ain't gonna be able to tell uh, until you get your curtains and. How everything get put together. That's how you. But see, know. I was trying to debate: Do I want to put some black curtains in here? You I gotta, have, you gotta have black. You can put white so it can be bright. It's bright in here already. Look at all this white stuff in nah, here. No, but when uh, sometimes it's it, so it still be kind of dark in here. Sometimes y'all don't turn the light on. It ain't that dark with all this it white? It is bright because there's a lot of white in here. Yeah, so I think you need a colored curtain then, Mama. You need I something, had, you need something I put colored. This morning, I put them blue curtains up. The they blue? Some, yeah, some blue. Navy ones. blue or regular blue? Royal blue. They was, uh... I put them up, but... So that would... Short. I didn't say, so that would be your pop of color then. You said you don't want no color. You just want black and white, but you got colored curtains. These up there. These that's navy. Yeah, that's navy then. See, these new. But they too short. So in order to make them where they'll fit mm. right, I got to take the whole rod and bring the rod all the way down to that's, where the thing's at. Well, that's unless you go get I some... I have to bring you the get rod some, uh, all the way. Yeah, I have to get some longer curves. Mm, don't you need 84? No, that's what that is. And they too short. All right, so you need 96 then. 96. If mm. I put 96 up here, then I got to take that rod and, and raise, raise it up. It up. Oh, just a little bit. Not a just like you did in my living room. Yeah, you and Marquise, when y'all like raised up the, the front um, room, too. I raised that one, but I have to take, take that rod, rod down and raise it up. 
because it's still too, too mm -hmm. low for 96. But that blue, blue look real good up there. So that would be your pop color. Mm -hmm. That blue curves look really, Maybe really, blue, really black, really and white. I, I don't think that'll look too bad. Y'all like that? It look real good. The <laughs> I navy, don't think that look too blue bad. look real good up against the gray wall. It look good. They were just too short. So I had to take them down. They were mm. way too short. I was like, well, that ain't going to work. So then I said I was going to put the navy blue, take that teal color out of that room. So what you doing in that room then? I said since the navy blue was too short in here, I was going to put navy blue in there with that taupe color. Navy blue and taupe in that bedroom would take all that teal stuff out of there. Mm. And then that'll change that room if I take it out. <sighs> I'm going to buy me another white comforter for my room. I'm going to go get me a new one. Mine's so big. Will, your, will, mine fit, will that one you bought me fit on your bed? My probably probably because my mat I got enough. Your mattress is higher than mine. No, nah, my mattress is bigger. Well, I say it's, it's bigger than my queen, the one I took off. So it's I put bigger. that coffin on my bed. It's dragged. It almost dragged the floor on both sides because my mattress too low. So I had to take it back off because I ain't want to mess up. I was gonna go buy me a white one. Go buy me another one because mine is short. You want that one? And then <laughs> mine, you can buy me another one because it's mine. brand new. I don't want them down that big, but <laughs> it's too low, pants. She said, take that one and buy her another. I ain't, it ain't like I use it. It's still in Mama, the I don't mind. I'm just saying, girl. Yeah, I was going to go to the store and just browse said, and get me another you white said one. You was getting white. That's all I'm saying. The thing brand new, you already know I ain't never used it. See? Mm -hmm. I ain't never used it. What size was this? Oh, this, this was the king. king. Yeah, that was the king. One. And it's way too big for my bed. What size your bed? Uh, uh, my bed is queen, but it sit too low. Sit your low. bed low. That's what it is. Yeah, and that's what mm -hmm. make it touch the, almost touch the floor because my bed too low. Mm -hmm. If my bed was like my old bed that was high. It'll fit. And my bed yeah. high like your old bed used to be. That's how but my since, bed is. It's since real my bed high. Too low. I can't even use my thing. That's why I want you to get them, bring them mattresses over here. <laughs> to raise the bed up so I could use. No, nah, Nookie got to bring that over here. Cause my bed too. And low. he just was uh, he was coming over here this weekend. He you could have got it, but we was already gone. So yeah, my bed just we was too already gone. Bed. Yeah, I was sure gonna go buy me a girl. I was gonna go to um. I thought if you was gonna buy, a I was gonna go to Home Goods and get me another white one because the one I got it, it is it's it's short because of the mat the other that? the other mattress. I can see how if it's gonna fit on my mattress. My mattress real it's wider than my box frame, Mama. That's probably why my the white comfort that what I got on there right you? now. You just wanna go spend the money buy one. Well, I'm gonna spend the money and buy you one. Cause you talking about you talking about buying you another one. <laughs> don't be, but I wouldn't get white this time. What color you trying to get? I don't know, but I wouldn't get white because I want white though. Mm -hmm. But by being too big, ain't no need to me putting it on the bed way that I'm. I'm gonna take it home floor. and see if it fit on my bed. Touch the third floor almost on both sides. I'm gonna see if it fit on my bed. My bed still high That's too. That's why I was like, well, bring the mattress over here. It'll fit good. <laughs> It'll feel real good if my bed was high. Shoot. Yeah, I don't know if I want this style though, mama. Well, don't get it. It's just like that on one side. This is huh? the, this is it's like this at the bottom. At the top, it's smooth like this. You talking about when you put it on the bed, it's smooth. This smooth at the top, like half of this is top. Like this part of the mat, this right here is on this the, the bottom side. This right here is the top side. See what I'm talking about? See, look oh, at I this. See, okay. Now nah, I was trying to see how they... The bottom okay. is this. And the top is smooth like this. Right here. No, nah, I was trying to I was trying to ask, like, you know, when you put the comforter on the bed, what yeah. side was going to be showing? This side here going to be showing. But if you turn that on the whole bed, just say you take that and bring it up here, it's smooth like this. This part is just half of it. It's like the bottom half of the bed. See, hmm. you got all these pillowcases. Here goes some in here. I think it's six of them in all. Because you got... See how this is? That's four, right? Mm -hmm. Is that four? Yeah. Two. That's four. Because I have you like... Got, okay, you got I four. I got like four. I put four. Y'all know how you just decorate your bed and put you four got, pillows on your bed. You got, I got like four pillows. pillows. 
You got the regular pillows that you can sleep on, then you got the two design, and then mm -hmm. you got the three little bit of them. The decorated pillow. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. But that's how it's made, because when I put it on the bed, I was like, oh, it's half and half. It was cute, though. It's just too long. Mm. If I get that mattress, I'll have it on my bed. Because <laughs> then it won't be too long. It won't be dragging. Almost touching the floor. I ain't going to say dragging, but almost. It's just like this. Oh, this. Okay, I see. Yeah, it. it's mm -hmm. like this the bottom part of the and bed, this the this top. The top. It's how it's made. The whole coffin is made like that. But you can go get you one. You can leave that one right there if you don't want I just, I have to, I have to see. I have to see because I wanted something like just, you know, how it's just like, just, just plain white with nothing on it. Yeah. And it looked like a bubble, like a bubble comforter. Yeah. That's what I really you want. You probably got to order that. It's just plain, solid. You can put your own decorated stuff on it. I'm going to put that on my bed then. But I can't put it on that now because it's way too big. Mm. I thought once I got it, can you put it on it? Mm -hmm. Cause see, you know when I get it. Remember, I had them other mattresses on the bed. I didn't have them on the bed mm. when you got me that comfort. I had them other mattresses on the bed, you know, and it was a tall bed. I got put the tall bed cause the tall bed they would have been fine. It would have touched the floor cause the bed sit up off the floor. Mm -hmm. So with the bed sitting up high, the comforter would have fell just right. It would have never touched the floor. Since I ain't got that bed no more. Mom, when did I buy you that comfort? It was like a it's year ago. Years. No, it's been a two years. Probably, probably two, two years. years two years ago. ago. I was trying I to see. I had it in there for a long Dollar, time. Child. You, you but sure I can't. have. But I <laughs> can't they know. come for a long time. I, I just knew you've been putting on your bed when you got your bed. But the, I can't the, do uh, this too long. Yeah, when you got that bed. Already the new one. Put, and you remember Buddha already lifted the bed up with the wood. And it's still low for that comfort. Hmm. Cause see if it was a king size bed, the mattress is that comes My mattress is that, is that Your size mattress you talking like, about? Uh -huh, the, yeah, the new mattress I put on there. But that comforter that I bought is for the fit like mama bed upstairs. That's how big oh. it is. That's what I was telling you. That comforter fit mama bed, big bed upstairs. You talking about the one I bought you? Yeah. That's Girl, how big it is. I don't know if it's, it might be too big for my <laughs> bed then. That is so big. Well, I'm gonna go home, y'all. Yeah. I just came to get my all right hot comb. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That comes for the big to fit mama bed upstairs, mama king side bed. Mmm. Just me, child. Well, I'm gone. All right, child. All righty. Just going back here. Finish doing this room as much as I can. I ain't let mama let all this camera so they can uh, see my little outfit of the day today. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't see you know, what I had on today. But this is what I'm wearing. Oh. <laughs> well, you ain't gotta be too far back. I girl. am, because you can see all my bags over there. Oh, well, I come up right here. Then. You too far. You too close. So I just got on my uh Nike Dunks, y'all. Regular jeans and my little pink little, you know. Well, that's what I had on today, y'all. Told me my Mark Jacobs bag today. I wanted to show y'all when I was in the fresh market, but they ain't had no mirrors in there. <laughs> Praise the Lord, I'm here. Y'all, I'm finally walking in the house. I ain't even put on my uh my little coat here. I ain't even put this on. I feel like I'm just so close, y'all. There we go. I'm sorry, y'all. It's kind of dark. Let me turn this light on. Oh, it is like getting colder outside. It is getting like, girl, what is wrong with these temperatures? Y'all may be experiencing some, some warm weather, but we, we got some cold weather today. Hmm. <sighs> mm mm mm. -mm. I'm glad I ain't have too many bags to take out the car, even though I should have went head on and went to Crowley Yard. I just don't want to be out here real late. So I guess I'll have to go on another day. I'll just go on another day. Hmm. Looks like I'll be eating a salad tonight. 
tonight. Something quick. That's what I will be doing. Well, I'm trying to figure out what I got in there, y'all. I had got me some of uh, I had bought me some chicken yesterday. And I had chicken. I had mashed potatoes. I had y'all some biscuits and some slaw. Girl, I tore it up. I may just eat the rest of that what I had yesterday. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. I did make me some tuna fish too. So I got tuna fish in here. Or I can just do me a a huge salmon salad. I can do either or whatever. Whatever that's gonna take less time. That's what I'm finna eat, y'all. That's what I'm about to eat. I'm finna taste these strawberries. And I'm finna see if they are sweet. I hope you pray that's sweet. Let me put some of this stuff up. I be washing my dishes and putting them on my cabinet right here. On my little black and white uh little dish mat. And I leave them up there to dry. And then I'll I'll put them up later. But I'm gonna taste these uh, I'm gonna taste these strawberries right here. They look like they do. You know. Who knows? Because this is not strawberry season, y'all. Some some are sweet, some are not. And my mom, I told my mom what I picked up, y'all. I had turned my camera off when I was just like leaving from her house. And I told her what I picked up at uh at the fresh market. I told her I grabbed the cantaloupe. She said, girl, this is my cantaloupe season. I said, well, the last time I bought a cantaloupe, it was sweet. It was real sweet. Amen. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, these ain't sweet, y'all. They not sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. And me personally, I like sweet strawberries because I don't add like sugar and all that extra stuff to them to make them sweet. I just like a natural sweet strawberry. My mama told me, girl, I be cutting up my strawberries, sprinkle a little sugar on them and eat them. I can't sprinkle nothing on my uh, strawberries. They have to be naturally sweet or I'm not going to eat them with no sugar. These just taste like, um, just like a sour, like bitter strawberry. Then I sweet it out. Now hopefully when I cut my cantaloupe up, Hopefully it's sweet. I pray that it's sweet. Because the last cantaloupe I bought at Kroger, it was sweet. It was good. I may fry me some fish tomorrow. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator because I'm going to have to definitely go pick up me some spaghetti, y'all. And, um, and some slaw. Because I'm going to make me some homemade slaw. Yep, yeah, because I want slaw spaghetti and fish with a slice of soft, fresh, white bread. I got to give me some of my bread, too. But anyways, Candy Poo finna get off of here, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I'm so glad y'all was able to see my granny today. Y'all kicked it with my oldest brother a little bit since he wasn't on the vlog for a minute. I hadn't seen him in a while, y'all. Every time I try to see my brother, sometimes, like I said, he be gone. Him and Jackie be gone out of town. So I don't always um, get to see him like I want to. So, yeah. But I thank y'all for hanging out with me, though. Spending the day with me. I'm finna get ready. To do what I have to do and uh, call it the night y'all so I love y'all y'all be blessed y'all stay encouraged and that's another thing I want to tell y'all um I'm trying to figure out what I was just gonna say y'all 
I was going to talk to y'all about last, last church service that I uh, tuned into because I didn't make it to church last Sunday. And uh, I had tuned in and uh, Marit Clark Brown, she was at our church last Sunday and it was their 64th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to tell y'all, I wanted to be there so bad. I just pray to God that y'all, I don't work on Sundays no more <laughs> because I know my schedule, it varies sometimes and sometimes I'm working on a Sunday, sometimes I'm not. And I guess however, you know, however my boss puts the schedule and whoever she may hire, you know, to work like those weekend hours and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, you know, it'll make our schedule like smooth. But I just pray to God that now everything stay the way it is right now, y'all, because tomorrow I'm off. I don't work tomorrow and tomorrow is Sunday. So I'm off. But yes, y'all, I did enjoy the uh, service when I tuned in. And that's what I wanted to tell y'all. Last Sunday was the church 64th anniversary y'all that church been up for so long i mean it been up for a very long time and um uh pastor ge patterson the founder of the church him and his wife y'all i can remember me going to their church some years ago hearing his wife get up and speak and she would always have on a hat and i would hear her speak all the time she would talk to us young folks <laughs> and she would be she would have me laughing y'all she would have me laughing even uh g patterson he would bring the word and it would be so strong and when i was younger back in the day um it was a lot of things that he spoke about about back then y'all that it's actually going on right now. It's a lot of things. Even though back then I wasn't as, I'm going to say, as stronger back then. Like my strength back then when G. Patterson was alive, I was a little bit longer. Not longer, Lord Jesus. I was a little bit younger. And it was a lot of things that I didn't understand. But right now... I can understand some things now that I have gotten older. Some of the things that he preached back then are going on right now. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me turn this off. But, yeah. <sighs> Just thinking about the founder and his wife. Yeah, it was such a blessing to see both of them. Had that church running and going every Sunday, saving souls. Mm. But you know what? Pastor Hawkins, it's like he is doing the same thing. He is saving a lot of souls. He is a powerful man of God, him and his wife. And I, I look up to him. I do. I look up to him like I be fed by the word when I go to church. And I learned some things. I do. I learned a lot, y'all. But anyway, I don't want to talk y'all head off. I'm going to get off of the chat. So I can do what I got to do. And get myself prepared and ready for church in the morning. So I'm going to see y'all. I love y'all. Y'all stay encouraged. Y'all be blessed. And I hope y'all draw closer to the Lord. I love y'all. Later. <laughs>